Germany's $165 million drone plan to crush the Ukraine-Russia war. In the midst of the upheaval caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, legislative sources confirmed that Germany will finally receive weaponized drones after years of debate. As a result of the Russian incursion, the EU powerhouse is increasing defense spending. Up until now, Germany's military services were only allowed to use unarmed drones for reconnaissance, whereas other allies were allowed to use weaponized ones. Drones that are not armed were approved by the German parliament in 2018, but a plan to arm them was scrapped due to strong opposition from the Social Democrats, who were junior partners in former Chancellor Angela Merkel's coalition government at the time. But now, Chancellor Olaf Scholz, a Social Democrat himself, has promised a large spending spree to arm Germany's military in response to Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine, which means that the devices have returned to the military's shopping list. Welcome to Drone Zone, the channel that brings you the latest, most exciting news and info about drones. In today's video, we talk about how Germany is responding to the Russian threat, so make sure to stay till the end of the video to know how Israel's most powerful defense system plays a role in this. According to sources, the Parliamentary Defense Committee approved the purchase of 140 missiles from Israel for the Heron TP drones for a total cost of 152.6 million euro. The missiles are expected to be delivered within two years, with 60 missiles used for operational deployment and the remaining 80 missiles used for training purposes. The war in Ukraine, launched by Russian President Vladimir Putin, has fundamentally altered the security situation in Europe and has once again highlighted the importance of adequately equipping the Bundeswehr, according to a statement issued by the German Defense Ministry. According to the statement, this includes, among other things, the ability to repel military threats and provide the best possible safety for soldiers and partners while on missions and participating in mission-related duties. According to a position document obtained from a parliamentary committee, modernization of the Bundeswehr's equipment was absolutely necessary because important state interests of a political kind would otherwise be jeopardized, which was unacceptable. Germany's army has been hampered by a lack of financial resources over the years. The recent report on the state of the military by Defense Commissioner Eva Hugel highlighted a slew of equipment issues, ranging from a severe lack of newer generation weapons such as rifles and even parachutes to a widespread lack of combat vehicles, navy ships and fighter jets. Three days after Russian forces marched into Ukraine, Scholz delivered a historic speech in which he announced that Germany would set aside a special budget of 100 billion euro for the military and would spend more than 2% of its annual production on defense. Since then, frenetic negotiations have occurred to finalize a slew of major defense contracts, including the purchase of up to 35 F-35 fighter jets from the United States and 15 Eurofighter fighter jets from a consortium led by Airbus. Germany is also considering adding the Iron Dome anti-missile defense system from Israel to its military arsenal. The Arrow 3 system, which is expected to cost more than 2 billion euro, is powerful enough to protect neighboring EU countries. If you've made it this far, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And now, let's get back to knowing more about the Arrow 3 system. The Arrow 3 is an exo-atmospheric hypersonic anti-ballistic missile designed and built in collaboration with Israel and the United States. It has the ability to reach speeds of up to Mach 3. Israel Aerospace Industries, or IAI, and Boeing are working on the project, which is being overseen by the Israeli Ministry of Defense's HOMA administration and the United States Missile Defense Agency. The system intercepts ballistic missiles, particularly intercontinental ballistic missiles that can deliver nuclear, chemical, biological, or conventional warheads. Because of its ability to rapidly switch orientations, it can pivot in order to see oncoming satellites as they pass overhead. The Arrow 3, according to reports, has a flight range of up to 2,400 kilometers. As of August 2008, the Israeli and U.S. governments were collaborating on the development of Arrow 3, an upper-tier component of the Israeli Defense Command, with a kill ratio of approximately 99%. In 2006 to 2007, an architecture definition study determined the need for the upper tier component to be integrated into Israel's ballistic missile defense system. A major component of this top layer, according to Arya Herzog, then director of the Israel Missile Defense Organization, will be an exo-atmospheric interceptor developed jointly by IAI and Boeing and deployed in the Northern Hemisphere. Longer range detection, tracking, and perceptive capability will be required for the new component, in addition to the capabilities provided by the Arrow 2's current Green Pine and Super Green Pine radars. 
Among the advanced sensors being considered for Israel's future multi-tier system are airborne electro-optical sensors deployed on high-flying unmanned aerial vehicles and improved Green Pine radars, as well as the ANTPY-2 radar already deployed in Israel and controlled by U.S. forces. In June 2009, Israel Aerospace Industries revealed that the Arrow 3 patented exo-atmospheric interception approach, like the Arrow 2, has a two-stage interceptor but is solely based on hit-to-kill technology. Unlike most kill vehicles which are propelled by liquid or gas, the new Israeli kill vehicle will be propelled by a standard rocket motor with a thrust vectoring nozzle. It'll also be outfitted with a gimbaled seeker to provide hemispheric coverage. The kill vehicle will use proportional navigation to deviate from its course and precisely align with the target's flight path. This is achieved by measuring the seeker's line of sight propagation in relation to the vehicle's motion and adjusting the vehicle's course accordingly. Dolia Goldner, an IAI colleague of Joseph Hassan's, invented the new kill vehicle, which they jointly patented. According to Joseph Hassan, the concept is very simple, dependable, and cost-effective, and it's based on well-established technologies. Furthermore, the death vehicle's maneuverability and agility reduce the need for detection and tracking technologies, which are typically used in conjunction with remote sensor-assisted exo-atmospheric kill missions. The International Aerospace Industries displayed a full-scale replica of the Arrow 3 missile and accompanying kill vehicle at the 2009 Paris Air Show. Arrow 3 should be capable of intercepting ballistic missiles, particularly those carrying weapons of mass destruction, at altitudes greater than 100 kilometers and over longer distances than previously thought. Another possibility is that it's based on a ship. The Arrow 3 is faster, smaller, and weighs nearly half as much as the Arrow 2. An Arrow 3 battery is expected to be able to intercept salvos of more than five ballistic missiles in 30 seconds or less. In some cases, the Arrow 3 can be launched into a specific area of space before the target missile's location is known. When the target and its path are determined, the Arrow interceptor is redirected by closing the gap with its thrust vectoring nozzle and conducting a body-to-body -body interception with the target. Over a 30-year period, Arrow 3 may have a lower life cycle cost. It'll most likely use the same launch system as the previous Arrow. According to reports, each unit will cost two to three million dollars, with a total program cost of 700 to 800 million dollars predicted over three years. Many Israeli experts, including Professor Yitzhak Ben Yisrael, former director of Israel's Administration for the Development of Weapons and Technological Infrastructure and current chairman of the Israeli Space Agency, believe the Arrow 3 could also be used as an anti-satellite weapon. Germany has requested that the Arrow 3 missile defense system be purchased, and Israel and the U.S. have agreed to cooperate. The reported development comes just days after German Chancellor Olaf Scholz stated that the country was discussing purchasing the long-range system, which was developed in collaboration by Israel Aerospace Industries, Elbit Systems, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, and Boeing. Scholz's decision prompted German lawmakers to argue for the system's purchase, calling it an excellent alternative for protecting ourselves against the Russian danger. The German Air Force chief Gerhardser told the Jerusalem Post that Israel and the U.S. had given their permission that we can collaborate on it, but that the specifics of the purchase were still unknown. According to the Jerusalem Post, Russia has placed Iskandar missiles in strategic locations, putting German cities like Berlin within striking distance. According to reports, these short-range mobile ballistic missiles have a range of up to 500 kilometers. The Iron Dome is used for short-range threats, Gahatsa told the journal, and we have a very capable industry here at home, so we will acquire devices for that. According to the German newspaper Bild, the system will cost at least 2 billion euro, or 2.2 billion dollars, and will be operational by 2025 at the very least. It went on to say that the system's radar would be installed in three locations across Germany, with data transmitted to the NATO Air Force Combined Air Operations Center in Uerdem, Germany. That's it for today's video. Let me know if you think the Arrow 3 system can actually protect Europe from the Russian danger, or will Europe still need a lot more? I hope you've enjoyed watching this video just like I've enjoyed making it. Make sure to comment with any future videos that you're interested in watching. I'll be seeing you all soon, but until then, watch this video to learn more about the Terminator drones used by the Ukrainian military, and as always, subscribe or crash.